Opposition lawmaker Rafizi Ramli claims that the finance ministry-owned company SRC International's Nguyen Berhad has recorded an investment impairment of 115 million ringgit, based on its latest financial statement. According to Rafizi, the impairment could be much higher as not much is known about 3.1 billion ringgit of SRC's investments invested in open-ended funds. Which means that because this company has 3.1 billion unknown investments which nobody can ascertain the nature and the value, the risk that the impairment on that 3.1 billion is real and big. SRC International has obtained a 4 billion ringgit loan from State Pension Fund KWAP. 3.8 billion ringgit of the 4 billion ringgit loan has apparently been spent. Replying to a question in Parliament last week, the Finance Ministry did not specify how the money was spent except to say that it had been invested in Indonesia, Mongolia and some other unnamed countries. According to Rafizi, the government will now resort to injecting 1 billion ringgit into KWAP from the 2.2 billion ringgit supplementary budget approved by Parliament yesterday. Esquap is owed 4 billion ringgit by SRC International. It is too convenient to be a coincidence for the government to inject 1 billion ringgit into the pension fund. As public money is involved, it is important for the government to disclose the exact nature of SRC International's dealings in Mongolia. SRC International was initially set up as a subsidiary of 1MDB but was later allegedly removed from 1MDB's books and parked directly under the Finance Ministry. Kamaru Azhar, PHTV.